what the hell happened to you? so thin the weight loss mm. for english people i think you lost something like three and a half stone is what we would say 47 pounds what would that three be? and a half stone yeah. it sounds three and a half stone sounds yeah. heavy doesn't it <laughs> yeah. yeah pounds yeah. no uh, <laughs> three and a half stone well I, I did it as healthy a way as possible i mean I, I met with two nutritionists first so i found out how i could lose three and a half pounds a week so i gave myself whatever that is three four months and i had I ate meals i just ate small meals what were you eating Honestly. Five ounces of fish, a couple of vegetables twice a day. Some pudding in the morning and as much red wine as I liked at night. But it was small amounts, and I gave myself four months to do it. I also gave myself enough time. I didn't do it in two weeks. All right, all right. I did it in four months. I lost the weight I needed to do for that. And that was just a steady diet I got with the nutritionist. Gave myself four months to do it. Lost three pounds a week, and then did it. And it actually, it helped me. It helped sort of set a construct for me to focus and do the stuff I needed to do. I started off exercising really hard, you know, going for two hour runs, burning lots of calories, and then I injured my ankle so I couldn't do it for about 10 days. But I stayed on the diet and I lost just as much weight. And I said, well, forget that, I'm not exercising. Yeah. Anymore. Was it all diet? Were you doing also exercise too as well? Like how We're doing, you... doing cardio, but the, I'll tell you what, the more I've learned, it's 90% diet. It's 90% amount and then what you're eating. Because right now, I'm not losing any more weight if I burn 1,500 calories, two hours of cardio in an afternoon, mm. or if I don't. It doesn't matter. It's a matter of what, how much I eat. But and you always uh, exercise. You were always in, you love exercising, right? Yeah, I do, but this was a different, this for four months, I was pretty hermetic. I mean, I stayed in, I had controlled meals, didn't go outside and get sunshine because the guy needed to be pale as he was. But your family and friends, they must have been worried for you. It was under control, and it was. I met with the nutritionist, did it as healthily as possible. And my family was around me daily. It was so gradual, they didn't really notice it. My, my daughter one day said, Papa, why is your neck like a giraffe? I got support from my family. I have controlled meals. I started cooking more for my family while I was losing the weight. So all I could do is, like, I'd do those ribeyes for the family, and I'd be marinating, and I'd just be other <laughs> That's all I could do. That's my job for the role. You look really good. You haven't, like, gained all the weight back, but you look really good. I put 40 back on after that. Is it hard to lose weight? It's hard, but the first 10 days are much harder than after the first 10 days because it takes a while for your body to understand that it has to feed off of itself. You're not going to give it something else from the outside. Your organs, not only do your muscles shrink, your organs shrink, so my stomach has shrunk as well. Mm. So as much as I can't wait to have that cheeseburger, on the day, it'll probably be damn hard to eat the whole thing. Yeah. Your body changes and says, okay, we get it. We're going south. We're not asking for more food anymore. <laughs> we understand you're not giving it to us, so we're going to quit asking. And you just, just do it. But there's been the tough parts that have been plateaus. Yeah. Like getting past 170 was really hard. But then once you get into the 167, the next seven come off easy. I mean, past 150 was really hard. And then, bam, got down to 143. And so once you, once you get past the plateau, your body seems to understand, okay, this is where we're living now. This is where we are. And so the energy rises. The transformation of McConaughey and this character, it's a major force of the film. When I showed up on set and I saw him, I got really scared. I was so worried about Matthew and Jared. I hated that part of it. I was personally horrified watching them. I know every meal Matthew has eaten in the two films that I've worked with him. And on one film, it was like, well, Camilla made this salmon and I put it in a bowl. And in this movie, it was, well, this morning I woke up and I had my tapioca and I had a lot of tea. I think I need some tea and maybe some tuna fish plain. So he's a foodie. And you're a food guy. You like to eat. Oh, yeah. You know that. Yeah, I know that. And how many times I catch myself standing in the fridge going, oh, that's right, not gonna have that. And so, 
you know, and you, you don't go have meetings at your favorite steakhouse either. You have a <laughs> night at home with your little Tap meal right in front of you. Yeah. And when you're when you're really that hungry, something that sweet was. I made it last. I'd make it the. Li I'd make this little two ounces of tapioca pudding last like 45 minutes. <laughs> I'd eat it with the smallest spoon possible, and I was just like, oh. How much weight did you gain for that movie? 47. Oh, 47. 47. Was that the goal, or you were hoping to get to 50 and were unable to make it? <laughs> I started uh, living like Kenny Wells, getting ready, and all of a sudden I noticed my pants weren't weren't fitting and shirts weren't fitting. So I got on the scale and noticed I'd put on about 20. I shook hands with myself, said, "Look, you got five months. You're gonna get fat. You're gonna get. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to breathe." I said, "You're gonna look at yourself. You're gonna. Like, oh my God, what have you done?" I was like, "But it's in service of the character, so don't." I did a deal. I said, "Look, if you start to get antsy, like, oh my gosh, am I ever gonna come back with this?" I said, "You got to double down. You got to eat another cheeseburger. Beer and cheeseburgers." And I've done it for six months. Favorite food is cheeseburgers. I was trying out all these fast food restaurants that I've never had, or I've only had one time. Not that much sweets. Cheeseburgers and beer will do the trick. What did the wife say? Oh, they loved it. My nickname in the household was Captain Fun. It was Why pizza night any night. Any night was pizza night. I had I six months everything. of midnight in the kitchen. Pizza night was Tuesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, <laughs> Saturday. If you wanted to go bowling or to the carnival on a school night at midnight, I was saying, great idea. No problem. Yeah, he said, Makana, you have six months to yeah. say yes to whatever you want to eat and whatever you want to drink. The only thing that gets tiring is the thought of quitting. No exercise, I'll tell you that. I, I wouldn't even take the stairs to the second floor. I mean, that would be too much exercise. So it was fun to do that? Yes. Was it fun to lose that? No. How how long did it take you to lose that? That's taken me about six months. It would go, I would go from 217 to 211 easy. Then 211 to 209, crossing the, that 210 mark was really tough. Then go 209 to 201 easy. I had to be patient. Like this is not gonna happen overnight. This isn't gonna happen in a couple of few months.